everybody this is Dr. John F. from Gluck Orthodontics in Nashville, Tennessee. Another educational video for you today. Something that's come up a few times in our office is we love palate expanders. We do them on a lot of patients. So we really believe in them. And when we place them, parents ask us a lot, how do I know if the expander is working? That's a really, really great question. Uh, every time a patient turns their expander, the amount that the expander widens is a quarter of a millimeter. So it's really hard to tell from one day to the next if things are working. So what I've done is I have an expander that has never been turned. It's brand new. And then I have one that's already been opened completely or it's finished. And I'll show you the difference between the two and what are some key things you can look at to help determine if the expander either you or your child has is working perfectly. So. Let's see if we can figure this out. This, let me zoom in here. Okay, so this right here is a new expander and it's on a patient's model. Obviously, it's fitting over the top teeth. And so, a couple of things to point out. These are what we call bands. This was actually made uh, through 3D uh, metal 3D printing. Um, so that's what you see right here. Let me get out of the frame. Um, okay. This section right here in the middle is where you place your expander key when you do your turns. So when you go into the orthodontist and they talk to you about how to open the expander, they're going to tell you, put your key in this little hole and then turn it and that will have the expander open. So you're going to do that every day again, like I mentioned before. Each turn of the expander key is a quarter of a millimeter. So how do we know if it's working? We're going to look really at two things. So this piece right here, this piece right here, and then what you'll also see is there's some threads of a screw somewhere right there, somewhere right there. The way these expanders are designed to work is every time you turn the key, this piece or this side of the expander goes in that direction. This side of the expander goes in that direction. This part in the middle where you're doing the turns remains stationary. And so the way you can tell is after every time you do the expander, really you probably take a look at this every couple days, is does it look like this is going that way? That is going that way. And the way you'll tell is you'll see a space start to open up somewhere around here, somewhere around here, and the threads of the screw right here and the threads on the other side will get smaller. So again, this is a brand new expander and let's compare this with the next one, which is uh, fully opened. Hang on a second. So this, different design expander. This is what that expander, sorry. Let me get it to focus. Come on. There we go. This is what that expander looks like after it's been opened. So again, this part right here is the middle part where you're doing the turns. That is one of the pieces in the middle. That's the other piece in the middle. And this section right here is where the two sides have separated and moved apart as you've opened the expander. So you see again, that's the middle part. You can see the little hole. Oop, hang on. Come on. Wakey, wakey. There we go. That's the middle part where you do the turns. That's the threads of the screw on both sides. And you can see that piece has moved out that way. And that piece has moved out that way. Let me bring the other one in. I'll take it off the model so we can compare the two. Let's see if this is going to work. Hang on. There we go. Okay. So now you can see the top one is an expander that has not been opened. The two halves of the expander right next to each other. The bottom one, the expander, has been open completely. The two halves have moved. They've separated against each other. They've traveled down the threads of that expander screw. And as it's done it, you can see that it has widened 
the upper jaw. And just glancing at this, you can see the bands of my top expander are obviously more narrower inside the bands of my bottom expander. So, let me zoom back out. Okay, quick video just showing you how to turn your expander and also what it looks like a new expander versus one that's been open. It's a really good key to keep an eye on. If you have any questions, uh, often what we do is tell our patients to just snap a photo with their phone uh, and text it or email it to us and we can kind of say, yeah, that looks great. Or maybe you need to come in and let's do a little coaching on how to properly turn the expander. Any questions, leave us a comment. Good luck. Uh, hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.